Welcome back, everybody. We have another episode of the Science of Golf Performance podcast here. Today, I want to talk about shoulder health and how to work on your shoulders, prevent injury, and even recover from current injury. I've been having a lot of clients recently ask me about, you know, why is there so much pain with swinging, that sort of thing. A couple of things that can pop up with the swing, especially some mobility limitations are pretty common. Number two, you simply don't know how to utilize the shoulders. Looking at the shoulder itself, there's almost 20 uh, muscles that attach the shoulder blade back here on the back. And it also is used to uh, move the arm itself and the shoulder blade. What can happen is you can get kind of out of rhythm. These two have to work together to get full range of motion, be strong, be healthy. If something is out of balance there, then imbalances can occur, pain can occur, weakness can occur, and tightness can occur. All that together is a good combination to create some pain injury and cause you to get pretty upset with your golf game. So today I want to talk to you about a couple of things you can do to help yourself out. The first one I want to talk about is a muscle release technique. Now this muscle I'm going to show you is called the subscapularis. It's found right in the armpit and is one of your rotator cuff muscles. This one is very commonly tight with golfers especially. In the golf swing itself, when we're coming up here and coming back down on the downswing towards impact, we need external rotation of the shoulder. Now this is where your arm is up here and you're rotating backwards. Now the subscapularis is an internal rotator. It's a, it's a muscle that helps with this motion right here. So what do you think what happens when that muscle is tight? It prevents this from happening in the first place. So I'm gonna show you how to actually work on that muscle, loosen it up a little bit and get moving again. All right, so all you need is a golf club here. What you're gonna do is the first thing here is gonna find the muscle itself, all right? So I mentioned it's in the armpit. So you can just put the golf club down for now and place your arm in this position. What you're gonna do is just move the arm a little bit and then take your thumb, slide it into your armpit way in the back, all right? Now you can move the arm around and that muscle you're feeling to do the work, that's the subscapularis, all right? It might be a little tender in there. I know mine is a little bit right now too, all right? So what you're gonna do now is where your thumb was, you're gonna put the golf club instead, all right? Right about in there, I like coming in at an angle, guide it in there and then with the same side arm, just simply pull in on that spot and hang out there for about 30 seconds. The key here is holding for about 30 seconds. What we're trying to do is with that uh, constant pressure on the muscle, we're basically sending it messages to shut off and not be so tight. So anything under 30 seconds might not be very effective. So at least 30 seconds here, push through the pain and let relax. All right, so we just got done with the subscapularis, the release there. Now we're gonna do more of an activation exercise. So we just loosen up the internal rotators now we're gonna work it on activating the external rotator. So I mentioned that motion like this, work on external rotation. The big thing is what we're gonna do is find a pole, something tall you can use like a door frame, a wall, anything like that, all right? What you're gonna do is place your forearm against here and get your elbow in line with your shoulder. So I'm gonna push forward. I don't want you starting back here because what we're trying to do is get the maximal tension on the front so we can really engage the back here, all right? So you're gonna push forward a little bit, feel a little stretch, and now we're gonna simply lift up. Now these are called shoulder 90-90 lift-offs, all right? What we're doing here is lifting up off the, uh, the wall, the door frame, in this case the pole, working on the back side of the shoulder, so this external rotators, all right? Bring it back, hold it for a few, and then bring it back here. If you're feeling like that's really easy, then work on getting into golf posture. So as in work on that hinge and really challenge yourself here. All right, so if I could work on that hinge, I'm gonna bring myself down a little bit more and now work on the external rotation again. This is getting really tough. I can really feel the backside of my shoulder blade firing up and really working those muscles. All right, so we've gone over a muscle release technique. We've also gone over the external rotations. Now we're gonna do an actual strengthening exercise here to really get that uh, glenohumeral rhythm, that arm and shoulder blade rhythm stronger, okay? So for this, we're gonna do something called a landmine press. Here I have a barbell in the landmine position. What we're gonna do is simply press it. Now, what I like to do here is keep my elbow in, and as I'm gonna push up, all right, and as I do that, keeping my elbow in, I'm not flaring out here, really just trying to keep everything in line. The big thing is as I get up top here, I'm gonna also press my chest through. So while doing this, what it does is it stretches really nicely back here, but also strengthens back here. So as I'm doing this, come back down, and we'll do another rep here. Hold it for a second, come on back down. If you feel like that weight's too, you know, a little light, add a little weight as well. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Please add or click on the like button here. 
If you like our videos and want more content, give us a subscribe. I hope this helped. If you have any further questions, visit our uh, website at parforsuccess.com. And thanks for watching.